Hello and welcome to another week with Mirror's Dreams Time Messages. i am um, changed my view a bit in this video so I hope you can see me a little bit better. Um, so in the in um, you know the near future I'm hoping to have a bit of a better setup than I've been able to do before um, so then you can see me even a lot clearer because I know how important that is to you guys and um, so you know we're going to be starting another brand new week can you believe it ah geez the um, year has just 2021 welcome <laughs> it's been flying ever since last year and it's been such a great start to the year I hope you're having a wonderful start as well. Um, the week is going to be starting the 8th of March and running through until the 14th. And so the new moon is coming up during this period and it's going to be a great time to start um, thinking about the projects that you want to bring forward. And so um, the two cards that we pulled up last week was with dolphin i am and i am aware and um with uh, also ancestral butterfly i am balancing so you know it was two powerful cards to do with cycles and really getting a grasp of what cycle we were in so and i'm really trying to work through the different aspects of those of those of that cycle that you're in and so I hope you are able to get some valuable information um, from those two animals um, so the most popular artwork well let's just start off with the brand new painting first the brand new painting to hit the store and if you're following me and you've been following me for some time then I um, let you guys know about the most popular and the latest painting to hit the store so this is the latest painting to hit the store the willy wag pipe willy wag tail which is such a popular bird in australia um with babies for the very first time so as you can see a little bit clearer i'm not sure if you can see in this video but um you can see the dot work plate dot work on this one so it's got some really wonderful colors in there um, keep, keep tuned, I mean the story is going to be on there in the coming days so look out for that usually roughly between one um, week to ten days that I'll put the story up because it involves so much work um, the story um, just as much work as the painting does so just bear with me as you know I'm doing um, everything so you know everything's done with Mary's personal touch so yes the most popular um, artwork this week was with ancestral butterfly so I'm glad you have been following with these messages that I've been bringing to you which is so very important um, so that's been the most popular this I'm showing you the a four size museum print so um, that's of my close-up of my ancestral um, butterfly so that's such a um, beautiful one you can check that one out on my store and um, museum print is like a similar quality to the major museums and art galleries have so you'll receive the most the best quality that you can get in a print and it's very similar to owning the original painting so you know the story postcards don't forget guys these are only like 350 and each story postcard is like 300 grams card and you got the detailed story on that start collecting them today there's so many great stories um, that you can collect on my store so just go to postcards up the top on my website and don't forget about the journals um, that are also they write all you know start tracking your spiritual progress and the things that you want to bring to life with your dreams let's get to it now with the dream time cards 
Every week I pull out two cards from the Dreamtime card deck, giving us spiritual uh, guidance in, um, you know, during troubled times and uncertainty. And the, you make the reconnection back to the land, get that sense of belonging again and, you know, um, let the animals guide us our way on our journey. So there's the 85 page booklet and your 33 glossy cards famous white cockatoos on the back and all the Australian animals on the front so let's see which two animals are going to be popping up this week and I do my readings in my very special room that I have at home so um, you know to ensure that you're receiving the best quality guidance and um, you know so let's see the two cards that are going to be popping up this week. The first card we got is with Turtle, I am confident. And Turtle gives us a message when I share my emotions openly, I experience growth which leads to unlimited opportunities to shine. You know, um, Turtle is about um, understanding those deep emotions inside of ourselves that we all have and that we all have in common to each other. You know, it's important to connect with others and to share our experiences you know we all have um that's how we learn through our emotions um so you know turtle is number 13 you can look up in your guidebook and it gives you a lot more it gives you basically four uh, to five levels of information so it goes into so much depth um the purpose of the turtle tells you that uh, is your it represents your emotions and that you're it's an important time to listen to what your emotions are telling you so the guidance is um, the well let's just tip, skip to straight to the action step the action step this week to do with turtle is letting you know to listen to your emotions in relation to something that could be troubling you right now you um, you become more confident when you can do this and honor this part and give back to yourself during this time by using water to relax your mind body and so get in touch with a body of water and nature at home to unwind anything you feel ashamed or scared of and have trust in this experience you may be going through something emotional this week so it's just important to treat yourself with care you know you could be feeling scared ashamed or feeling powerless in this kind of situation to do with these emotions, um, you know, turtle can help us to feel powerful again and emotional and confident, especially if we can share our emotions and our experience with somebody that we can trust um, in order to bring them out and release them. Um, you know, don't be uh, ashamed about what you're facing during this time. Um, you know, we all uh, have experiences that are either sometimes can be unpleasant and sometimes they can be good. So, you know, just allow yourself to unravel anything that comes to you so that you can grow and feel more confident in what you're doing through your emotions. So I love Turtle. I hope you do too. So let's see the next card that's coming up. That's going to be with Turtle. And it is, ooh, we haven't got this card in a while. I am happy with Ancestral Sparrow. So sparrows are found all around the world, not just in Australia, and comes from the Finch family. When I allow myself to recognize negative people who are not serving my happiness, my natural flow and rhythm returns, I am peaceful again. This is so you know important <laughs> to really grasp the message of this one there can be like people in our life that really just do not serve us so you know that's really what this card is telling us and to be so very aware of what who these um, people are so Ancestral Sparrow is number 28, so let's just have a look and um, see what Sparrow is telling us. Um, 
the purpose is um, there is a part of you that is out of balance. Eventually this can lead to more unhappiness. The best thing you can do right now is to take a step back in order to make yourself happy. Walk away from an unpleasant situation because you are number one and someone is stepping over your boundaries. So, you know, just have a little think. You may even not even need to think about this one. You might just know it may just be a feeling in your gut or in your heart. You know, it can come in many different ways. So just, you know, listen to yourself and trust is the main thing, trust. So, you know, you may be feeling depressed. Uh, remove the ties or cords that are binding you to somebody else. Lack of trust or money, uh, you may be feeling unsettled. So, Ancestral Sparrow helps us to bring in more happiness, have a flow of life, abundance and peace again. The action step to do with Ancestral Sparrow this week is letting you know there is an understanding you need to reach that will enable you to have a feeling of satisfaction come back into your life. But first you need to take some action to get yourself out of a current situation um, that is making you very unhappy happy and unsettled. This is seriously affecting your financial situation and has been weighing you down for some time. So there may be somebody in your life that you really need to release um, in order for this happiness to come back into your life. You know, and this ha unhappiness can cause unbalance. So, you know, with, um, you know, it's not to worry uh, or anything like that, but just be very gentle with yourself and try to understand, okay, let's start writing out some things in our journal. Maybe this is one exercise you can do to start to understand where these feelings of happiness can come from. So it's very interesting that we got, you know, turtle this week paired with ancestral sparrow because, you know, turtle is letting us know that there's an emotional experience. So, you know, these unpleasant feelings may be, um, you know, tying us to a, an individual in our life. It could be somebody in the family, it may be a friend, maybe someone from the past or a relationship that didn't um, go as quite to plan as you hoped it would. So, you know, that's basically what uh, Ancestral Sparrow is letting us know about um, you know, but with butterflies there, it's letting us know that there's an emotional release to do with this that can be incredibly healing for you. So, you know, it's about getting in tune with your feelings, you know, have your journal to write out anything that's particular to, particularly to do with this topic. Um, so that's the two cards we got this week, um, you know, so... I hope you have a wonderful week with Turtle and Ancestral Sparrow and I hope you get some valuable um, insights and uh, in connecting to your deep, the deeper parts of you through the animals uh, to help you through any troubled situations or times. So let me know how you go and I hope you have a fantastic week and I'll see you again next week with Moon's Dreamtime messages. Have a wonderful week. Bye for now.